A man working on his car was attacked by what could have been a rabid raccoon. He wound up killing the raccoon after it charged at him a second time. David Highfield talked with him and joins us now with the story new at 11. David. So then, Ken, think about this. You're underneath your car. So you're on your back, on the ground, kind of in a vulnerable position. And that's when the raccoon bit this man. Now, the animal is being tested for rabies. And in the meantime, the man is getting shots. Yeah, it, it still hurts. I, I still have a headache. Dan Waldenville has marks on his forehead after being bitten by a raccoon. He was under his Jeep doing some work on it on 3rd Avenue in Arnold, Westmoreland County, when a passing driver noticed the raccoon approaching. And she kept on blowing the horn, and I turned my head to look and see what she was blowing the horn at. And when I turned my head, the raccoon just grabbed me, just snarled and grabbed my face and bit me right, right here. He didn't have a chance to protect himself. Because I grabbed a raccoon and I threw him up against the back tire. And I rolled out from underneath the car, and the lady, she was already out of her car calling 911. His wound was immediately apparent. And she said, You're bleeding. And I said, Oh, that's great. That's all I needed to be bit by a rabid raccoon. He looked to see where the animal went. It came running over here, and I cornered up, I wouldn't let it go. It started to climb a fence to the neighbor's yard, but seemed very weak. A police officer arrived and was about to get a 22 to kill it, but instead, Waldenville grabbed a hammer. The thing got up, kind of stood up, and he started charging me again, and I hit him right here with the hammer. He killed it before it could get to the next yard, where the neighbor's granddaughters often play. Yeah, he could have got one of them, so he pretty much is a hero around here now. <laughs> While the animal is being tested for rabies, he saw a telltale sign. He had stuff on his mouth and he like was, foam. yeah. And he thinks his hat actually blocked him from the bite being worse. Yes, I had the pit hat on. I guess he didn't like pit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, test results aren't back yet, but given how the animal was acting, he is getting rabies shots. They don't do it in your stomach anymore, but he says they still hurt. He's gotten eight and will need three more. Now, he also says a worker at a nearby business saw a red fox during the day in a parking lot, which is also unusual behavior. And Waldenville says the next time he works on his car, he's going to have someone be his lookout. Susan.